When it comes to gardening, you have to take the good with the bad. And you know what's not great about a garden? That's weeds. But you know what? We all get them. And dealing with them and controlling them is really the way to go in terms of having a nice garden. Now, in this case here, we've got some concrete here with some weeds in there. I always opt to use just a herbicide when I'm doing that. Uh, reason being, I just find that the herbicide works well in pathways, especially if you've got a gravel pathway as well. Um, because it's really hard to sometimes uh, pluck these out just by hand. So just spraying some herbicide on them will be really good. Now, if you're using a herbicide, what you want to remember is that you, you need to keep your kids and your pets away from it to at least until it dries. So give it a few hours um, just to play it safe. Also, if you think it's going to rain in the next few hours as well, don't spray, but uh, herbicide's good for that. Now, another thing I want to show you here, just behind me here is a classic case of Kaikuyu getting into garden beds. Now, Kaikuyu can be introduced into the garden bed just through weeds blowing in, uh, cuttings coming in, but sometimes people plant it as a lawn and then it overruns the rest of the garden. And as you can see, it starts to suffocate all the plants. Now, really the best way to pull this sort of stuff out is by hand. And I can tell you, you got your work cut out for you pulling it out. So the plan with this is when you first start to see it, this is when you really want to get rid of it. Now, people make the mistake of having some kaikuyu in a garden bed. They do half a job pulling it out and then they, they bring in some plants and fertiliser and lots of water and there's still some little sprigs in there. And what happens is all of a sudden you're giving it the perfect environment to, uh, to, to grow and it explodes and it starts suffocating the new garden bed as well. Now, up in this part of the garden here, there's also another common weed that you might have in your garden as well. So this is the other one I was talking about, dandelion. Now, you'll find these in a lot of lawns, and, and normally because the lawn's been mowed too low or the pH is a little bit out of whack, and, but generally when your lawn's not in top shape, that's when weeds get in. Now, dandelion's one of those ones. So the best way to really treat dandelions is to pull them out root and all, and to do that, uh, in the organic way is just by using a little weeder like this. So really easy to use. Basically what you're gonna do is just put the prongs in like that and just dig them out like so. So you can see all the roots there. Now what you wanna do with these is just get rid of them straight away. I wouldn't introduce this stuff back into compost or anything like that. Some folks actually eat this, but they also use it for medicinal reasons. But in a garden, get rid of it. So. Let me show you how this stuff distributes around the garden. So eventually it becomes this. And these are the little fairies that the kids used to blow and make a wish and all that sort of stuff. And what happens is as they actually separate, each little bud, if you like, has got a little seed on it. And it's like a parachute that just gets pushed around and floats around the garden. So it just doesn't get contained to the lawn. These things end up in the garden beds as well. So with weeds, I would say the best thing that you can do is even if you don't have time to pull out a weed, roots and all like this, as long as you go around and you at least deadhead the top of the weeds and you're cutting off all the potential for the seeds to sort of spread, and not just dandelions, lots of weeds, anything that you think has a seed or a flower on it and can spread, cut it off, chuck it in the bin, at least that way you're gonna contain it from spreading.